Imagine being on a ship sailing into uncharted waters, leaving the familiar coastline behind for an endless ocean. That's essentially what the Voyager probes were doing, after their spectacular planetary flybys throughout the 1980s gave us our first intimate views of the gas giants, and their dozens of moons. The Voyagers just kept going. Their trajectory was carrying them towards the edge of the sun's influence, a theoretical boundary that no one had ever directly observed. As they traveled farther, their instruments continuously measured the solar wind, that constant stream of charged particles flowing from our star at a million miles per hour. As expected, the solar wind grew weaker, and its density, thinned. This data was crucial for scientists like Dr. Alan Cummings, a cosmic ray physicist at Caltech who has been with the Voyager mission since its inception. He and his colleagues were watching for the moment the solar wind would finally succumb to the interstellar medium, the tenuous mix of gas, dust, and plasma that fills the space between stars. The journey was long, and the signals grew fainter, but the anticipation within the scientific community was immense. These probes were about to answer one of the most fundamental questions we have, where does our solar system truly end?